they're back on the right. same uh, 20. Well, it's not well. really a 24 hour shift per person, it's 24 hour coverage of work. Yes, they will. We'll work 212s. But uh, as Mr. Preston says, there's a lot of desire here, and that's the reason we're here today. And we still got that desire. And we're going to make it. We can. Two related questions. Can any of you give us an idea of the astronauts' plans as of this point on? And does the, do the support forces have to change anything to meet this delay? As far as the astronauts, uh, I haven't heard any plans on what they... Uh, plan to do, but I expect they will stay right here and continue training in the simulator. Uh, General Houston, I think you might ask... As far as the support point. forces are concerned, uh, there's no reason to change that we know of. However, uh, the recovery uh, plan may cause some changes later, but this again is a function of when we will launch and when we will recover. So, as of this instant, there's no reason to think we'll have to change, but there may be. I saw two more steady hands over here. We'll take those two and then go to Houston. Mr. All right, fine. Could you give us some idea of the men, themse the men themselves? Uh, who has talked to them since they got out? What, what, is, their, what is their attitude there? Uh, well, I think uh, uh, it can be said that uh, 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 they've, well, they've experienced this operation before, and uh, they're the type of people that bounce back very readily. I feel that... Uh, uh, they are, are prepared for such eventualities. They have knowledge that these things can exist, so it's uh, not uh, a complete surprise to them. And uh, the people that are talking to them, uh, Al Shepard and the uh, uh, rest of the flight crew people are, uh, went over to the blockhouse and they're now, they did uh, go over to pad 16 uh, to uh, change back into their regular civilian type uh, suits and I imagine they'll be taking it easy the rest of the day. Well, we have... And so, we learn that the irony of this abort of Gemini 6 today was that the malfunction detection system itself failed, but in failing, proved that it works for the safety of the astronauts. In other words, using the analogy that we were talking about a little earlier, the horseshoe nail wasn't lost, but there was a report that the horseshoe nail was lost. And so Gemini 6 uh, was not launched at 9.54 this morning as planned. The astronauts, Shira and Stafford, are out of their flight suits now and uh, safely back uh, at uh, their quarters at Mila, the, uh, the Merritt Island launch complex across the Banana River from Cape Kennedy. They are said to be in good spirits as good test pilots. Uh, they proved that what good test pilots they were today by performing perfectly in a critical couple of seconds that could have spelled the difference between life and death for them. They stayed aboard their spacecraft while the engine, after only one and six tenths seconds of firing, shut down with the booster and the spacecraft still on the pad. It shut down when a plug came loose uh, at the base of the spacecraft that gave an indication of some malfunction so that the engines shut down. And now, the launch of Gemini 6 to go on its 103,000 mile chase of Gemini 7 uh, is scheduled for Thursday morning at 8.43 p.m. Uh, it could go as early as Wednesday, however, at 8.37 in the morning, but they would not give at Houston, as you heard, or at the Cape, any odds on going on Wednesday. They're going to try. Meanwhile, Gemini 7 is in one, its 120th orbit, just coming up over the United States again, and it will be making in just a moment or two its attempt to establish communications by means of that laser light beam from 185 miles over the White Sands, New Mexico. We're going to have another color Gemini report after the National Football League football this afternoon. And we'll be back, of course, for the Gemini 6 launch, Wednesday or Thursday, whenever that attempt is made. This is Walter Cronkite at the CBS News Space Center in New York.